Well, the object in the sky that really interests me is the Moon, and that's really because it's the ideal object for astronomical observation. It's easy to find, it's visible throughout the year. You don't need elaborate go-to systems or star charts in order to locate it. It's a decent size, no possibility of confusing it with anything else. I think with Jupiter, the real challenge is its very fast rotation. In ways, it's perhaps an easier target than Mars is because of its large angular size. I think perhaps I suffer from obsessive compulsive disorder. <laughs> you do have to be obsessive about every little step in the process. You need to try and refine and perfect, such as making sure the telescope's cooled down properly. You're constantly focusing and refocusing, even in the course of one imaging session. The deep sky appeals to me because of the huge varieties of objects to be seen, from places where stars are being born, their dying embers, to distant galaxies at the ends of the universe. You can do deep sky observing at many levels, visual observing with just a basic telescope, and you can get really good images with a digital SLR camera. The sun, for me, is the most dynamic object in all of astronomy. You just never know what you're going to see from day to day. You can see a churning mass of activity. Sometimes you can get prominences, which are these eruptions of plasma, and sometimes they're coming out in huge fountains. The BAA encompasses every aspect of astronomy, observing all the different kinds of wonderful objects that we see in the night sky, and with the sun, of course, also the daytime sky as well.